Hi guys, it's so great to see you guys all here. Thank you so much for joining us. It's such an incredible time here for us at the Missal Africa organization. Um, you know, it's uh, we never can believe that it's that it's that time um, of the year again where we we start our entry process um, to find our new Miss South Africa, and we are so excited for all the wonderful ladies to join us. The purpose of tonight's uh, uh, live is just to kind of chat to you about you know entering Miss South Africa. Uh, I know that a lot of uh, women have this. Um, you know, kind of yin and yang in this uh, tug and pull where they really don't know if this is right for them or if they should be entering uh, or even if they should, you know, what they can uh, or if they have already entered, what they can expect and just the process in general. And then we will also have some some exciting guests joining us in a minute. Um, but yes, our entries will be closing. Connection. Poor connection. Hello, I'm back. I'm back. Um, our entries will be closing on Saturday at 11.59 p.m. So please, ladies. Sorry, everyone. It seems... Okay. Hello, hello, hello. Okay. I am going to uh, let our first guest join us. Let's see who that is. Hello. Hey. Ladies and gentlemen, it is Miss South Africa 2020, Shuru Musida. Hey, how are you? Good, thanks. How are you, my love? I'm fine, thank you. Awesome. It is so lovely to see you. Um, it feels, well, I saw you yesterday, but I'm now seeing you <laughs> <laughs> on IG Live. Yeah. No, it's, it's very different. Your skin is on fleek. The lighting is great. You are popping. Listen, you need to see what I did to this whole office right now, okay? It <laughs> is clean. I even mopped. People, that are mopped. You Can mopped. you believe it? I mopped okay. this place, people. It is so <laughs> clean, we can eat off of it. So I'm ready for the new year. I am ready for the new year. Well done. Well done, Betty. Thanks, my love. I'm going to jump right into it. Um... I want to ask you a couple of questions. The first one that I want to ask you is, um, entering Miss South Africa, what has been the most rewarding part of the entry process of, of the competition process um, while you are actually competing for Miss South Africa? I think the most rewarding part of the entering process and even just the process of being part of Miss South Africa um, as a finalist is realizing that you can do anything. You know, I mean, when I entered, I was so scared. I sent in my 30 second video because I was like, you know what, I'm just going to give my best and put my best foot forward. I know that it's very daunting before you enter, but literally it's just about you um, believing in yourself, you know, and even if it doesn't work out, I believe in failing forward um, and just knowing that yes. you tried I best and your best is enough. Yeah, it's absolutely that. And um, during our conversation yesterday, you reminded me of something where you said, I had never entered a pageant before. And no. we had more and, and we had more entries than we have ever had before in the history of Miss South Africa and you won. Um, mm -hmm. Talk us through that a little bit. Uh, just, you know, entering the, a pageant for the first time and not knowing what to expect or knowing what is expected of you. I think it's it goes back to the failing forward thing, but also believing in the process. I When I entered Miss Esse, I didn't think I'd make it because I'm a girl that couldn't walk in heels. I'm a girl that's never entered a pageant before. I'm a girl that's never spoken in front of people before in my life, like ever. And here comes this thing where, for the first time ever, you guys decided, let's do videos. I'm like, wow. I don't even talk. <laughs> I don't even talk. The only person I talk in front of is my mom but um for me it was it was just it was just knowing that this year i want to do something courageous i want to do something that scares me but could also give me so much joy you know um i yeah. i believed in the i believed in in a greater world you know i believed that you know what 
if I do this and I don't make it, at least I can live with myself knowing that I tried, you know. Um, and I know that it's been a dream for so many people for so many years. And I know that it's scary that finally this dream, it could stay a dream or it could become a reality. And that's what entering is all about. Something that you've dreamt about all your life could actually become a reality. Uh, and I know that it's scary because some, so, so some, some women have been doing this for a long time. But imagine, just imagine that you do this and you actually succeed. There's that possibility. I know that the mind tells you that no, the other possibility is me failing, but there's that possibility of you succeeding. And I think that it's always good to take that possibility into consideration in as much as you can take the other one in, into consideration. So like, like I said, it's believing in the process. And even if you don't make it this year, it's about failing forward and actually knowing that I had the courage to try. I had the courage to follow my dream. And the things that come from that and the ripple effect of that is just, it's absolutely amazing. Yeah. I mean, if you think about it and you put it into layman's terms, having even not um, progressing to the further rounds um, in this competition, there's nothing negative mm -hmm. about that because at the end of the day, the wording will be, I entered Miss South Africa. You did something. Mm. You did not sit mm. back and let life pass you by, but you actually did something mm. positive for your life. Whether it worked out or not, you actually mm. partook in life. You know, you, you took a chance and, and you put yourself out there. And I think that's such a beautiful thing. And, and that applies and that applies to everything in life. I think um, being Miss South Africa made me realize that it's actually a job. Um, but um, in everything in life, in everything that you're so scared to do, in everything that you're so scared to partake in, I promise you, there's always that thing that's just waiting for you to try. There's always the universe saying, believe in the process so much that you're willing to fail forward, you know? And as soon as you do that, it's almost like the world is like, finally, you did it. Finally, I've been waiting for you. What took you so long? Um, and and yeah. that's how it happened for the universe said what took you so long um, and to every single person that is trying to enter in, in every single person that's trying to take a chance in every single person that is struggling with something take the chance take that step forward the universe is waiting for you yes that is beautiful girl speak yeah speak <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> thank you my love i appreciate your time so much um we love you. Um, I love you. Um, and I'm so excited to see who will be joining you in the sisterhood of Miss South Africa very, very soon. I'm also very excited. You say you love me. You better give me a ticket to the show. <laughs> when they open, we will see if there is seating. If there is seating. If you, if you, Otherwise, you can just... Oh, you. Listen... You can come work backstage with me. You can help. You can you can help steam dresses. You know how how lovely that have, is every year. Have people seen you pull out their hair that's not there during the night? Have people seen <laughs> what happens in the background? Mm -mm, honey, I can come there and give you a flower. That's my moral support. As long as I get a ticket too. I'll take the it. The miss I'll, I'll, ta <laughs> I'll take it. I'll take it. Thank you, my love. Have a lovely evening. I'll talk to you soon. Thank you. Peace. <laughs> Bye. Oh, she just makes me so happy. So happy. And yes, I'm going to take her up. She's going to help me steam dresses backstage. <laughs> um, I see all the love for Shiru. Thank you so much. Um, how old can and should a girl enter my daughter's going on 18? Listen, she has a couple more years, but our entry, um, you have to be 20 years or under the age of 28 by the 1st of August 2022 to enter this year. So just a reminder for you guys there. Let's see who's up next. Um, sorry, I just see a, a, a question here. Van, how do you know the application has been received? It will say, um, it will give you either a check mark or it will um, say there's a word approved i think i think that it's an a word <laughs> i'm not i'm not 100 percent sure but you won't get an email or anything like that it will go through and we do get all the um the entries um, um on the app so don't stress about that okay let's see who is joining us next 
Did I request now? <gasps> Ladies and gentlemen, it is Tamron, Dr. Tamron Green Mamalo. <laughs> Hello, my man. Hello, Hello my love. How are you? I'm good and you. How's it? I'm so good. I'm so good. And Tamron Green is wearing green. I love that. I am. I'm embracing it, you know. I'm, I'm, I am Mamalo now, but I'm still always going to have that green in my heart. You will always be a green. You will always be a green. Hello, my love. How are you doing well? How has everything been after that beautiful wedding that I'm sure that everybody has seen by now? Uh, you looked like a dream. Oh, thank like you. Dream. I'm very well. I'm still reliving it every day. It's like still that fairy tale feeling. Um, yeah. So good. We're happy. And thank you for everything you did um, and being involved, as always, with all my dresses. <laughs> for those who didn't know, Daddy's helped. Um, you know, he always takes you through that, like, what is your inspiration? What are you thinking? How do you want to feel on the day? And we came to that dress. So thank you for that, my bad. It's such a it's such a different experience doing a wedding dress because when it when it's competition time for Miss South Africa, I'm like, this is what you're wearing. I don't care if you like it or not. This is what's <laughs> what's gonna make you look beautiful. And then for a wedding, I'm like, whatever you want, whatever is gonna make you feel great. <laughs> that it's the first and bad numbers are like, my girl, it's just whatever you want. What you want, it doesn't matter what anyone says, you must be happy on that day. Yep. Absolutely. So it's a experience, but I'm a married woman. You are. I'm so excited, <laughs> honey. I'm gonna jump right. I'm gonna jump right back in um, into it. I want to ask you, um, your Miss South Africa, um, Miss South Africa entry process. What was the um, what was the most rewarding part of actually just entering Miss South Africa for you? Um, so we still had the the year where you actually did regionals and you walked up on the stage and answered questions which was really exciting what was the most rewarding to me is that number one people back at home people from my community people who younger generations were all looking up to me and they saw me making this big step um a step to move forward and actually have the courage to be like you know what i could be miss south africa let me try this and so, so many other girls some other young women looking at me and seeing the possibility for them as well um yeah. something that i really wanted to do especially for my community um, to show them you know anything is possible head out there and do it and i learned a lot about myself in that process of entering miss south africa because you you have to interact with other women you have you have people ask, asking you questions you find out what other skills you have you really grow in the process even before you win miss south africa and that's why I always say it's so rewarding for any woman to enter. Even just that, that point of entering, you learn so much about yourself that you can always take forward. It doesn't matter if you win or not. You can use what you've learned about yourself just in life in general and you'll grow as a person. Yeah. I think you, um, I think you said something um, that struck me uh, just now where you said, you know, it was about your community as well. And I think a lot of people need to realize that you entering Miss South Africa is, yes, it's something for yourself. And we always encourage you to do things for yourself and, and to grow and to chase after your dreams. But you don't know how many other people you are inspiring, how many people you are giving hope just by by doing something that you actually want to do. Um, and uh, that is what a role model is at the end of the day. Exactly. I couldn't say yeah. it any better. Um, just, just going throughout life, um, living in Paul, I love my town so much, but again, it's, it's your responsibility to show the world that, to, or to show the people around you that the world is much bigger. Um, yeah. you should really go out there, be brave, take the risk. Um, yeah. you can really learn more about yourself. And like, it's, it's like Shudu said, I was, I really enjoyed listening to your conversation. It's about failing forward. Um, you know, she's such an incredible example of someone who never did any um, like public speaking, never did any of oh, that is my dog is on the table. Can I just, can, can I just show everyone what's happening right now? Look at this. And, um, Hello, I, baby. I, I need to get my dog off the table. How did he even get up there? So sorry. So <laughs> domesticated. It's because I'm so 
know he's getting excited. Um, but it's like Shudu said, she was someone who's never done public speaking, who's never done modeling before, never did pageantry. Um, but she, you know, she took that step forward. And she's now that example to everyone else out there who doesn't believe that they could be someone like a Miss South Africa. Yeah, yeah. Um, the biggest lesson that you learned throughout the process um, of entering Miss South Africa? Um, biggest lesson is to really believe in yourself. Mm -hmm. I think a lot of young people growing up, a lot of women, we doubt ourselves, we compare ourselves to others. Yeah. But the lesson for me was you are one of a kind and you have to believe in yourself. Um, otherwise, you're never going to really live the purpose that you were meant to live on this earth. So for me, it was believe in yourself. You can do this. Yeah. Um, beautifully said, as always. I was like a little mesmerized just now. So I was just like, okay. <laughs> you just <laughs> so like so out of it. <laughs> yeah. Um, I want to know your, how, how the Miss South Africa, being Miss South Africa, and um, let's also just say entering Miss South Africa, how that has helped you after your reign, after everything was said and done, you know, in your career and, um, and, and who you are as a woman today. Oh, my word. Where do I start? But I don't know if you remember, but I was very insecure about my public speaking and also mm -hmm. just listening to Shudu and she, she articulates so beautifully. I was like, oh, my word, here we go again. And <laughs> I, when he sent me for like classes, to do public speaking. And for some reason, I just felt very self-conscious about it. And through Miss South Africa and through you encouraging me, I've become a lot more confident in just speaking as I am. Um, yeah not shy, not trying to, you know, sound intelligent or use this special vocabulary. But the most important thing is just getting the message across. Um, so yeah. I've become a lot more confident in my speaking, in my public speaking. I've become a lot more confident in um, the way I dress and what I wear. Because I know the first time you met me as well, I had like a small suitcase. I didn't know what fashion was. I didn't know what fits with anything, how to do my makeup. I learned all of those things. Yeah. But also doctor, I, it's, people don't put the two together. But what I learned in Miss South Africa, the confidence that I gained, the ability to communicate with everyone and anyone, because you're always put in different environments mm -hmm. and you have to adapt it. It really helped me with my patient communication, um, which I take a lot, which I'm really grateful for. Because yeah. anyone through your door and you must be able to talk to them and you must be able to empathize and that is everything that a South Africa should be able to do so I took a yeah. lot of journey mm. I think I, th I think that's an important lesson and something that people don't really understand when they do actually enter Miss South Africa is if you do it right and if you do it with the right intention Miss South Africa will be something it's that will propel you forward in whichever career path, life path that you choose to afterwards, just by these valuable life skills that you get to learn, the experiences that you get to have, the people that you get to meet, and the fact that for a whole year, basically, and even throughout this process, even from the point of entry, you are put outside of your comfort zone. And if you are put outside of your comfort zone, you are growing, you are learning, you are growing, you are becoming a better version of yourself. So with all of that said, by the end of the day, should you win, should you become a finalist, um, even just, you know, just enter, you will be a different person for it, but you will be a better person for it in your everyday life. Exactly. You couldn't have said it any better, my bad. And I think that's what every, everyone who's listening to this, please take that message away. Like, please, if you're planning on entering with South Africa, just, just entering, that's already mm. being brave. It's already taking that building up that courage to be like, you know what, I can do this. And you're already going to learn from just doing that. Um, yeah. No, everything that is, everything that you just said. Um, I'm so excited. Like, I'm so excited for everyone who's entering now and who the next in South Africa is going to be. Um, uh, it just, it never goes away. I don't think the feeling yeah. ever goes away. The excitement. Mm -hmm. 
No, absolutely not. Thank you, my Tam. I appreciate you joining us uh, tonight. Thank you for, for making the time. Um, we are all so thrilled and happy with you and we celebrate with you um, all these joyous events in your life. And we are so incredibly proud to have you part of our family. We love you so, so, so much. Love you too. And I'm with Shudu. Um, the tickets need to, we need tickets, okay? Listen, I'm making notes as we speak. I am I'm putting them forward to the powers that be. <laughs> okay. That's just one more thing. I really want to tell the ladies, please mm. just enjoy the experience. Um, I know I'm, I, it's all you know about learning about yourself, growing, but enjoy it. Don't forget to enjoy it. When you enter every day, just take it in. Take it in. That's, that's my last message. Beautiful. With that, we leave you. Thank you so much, Dr. Tamron Green Nomalo, Miss South Africa 2018. Woo! Woo! <laughs> <laughs> Bye, my love. Okay, guys, as you can see, I am so incredibly happy <laughs> right now. These, these women, they just bring me so much joy. And, um, you know, to walk this path with you, we invite all of you guys to join us this year. Um, it is such a special time and it's such a great family, the Miss South Africa family. And from the point of entry, you become part of our family. We are proud of every single woman that has um, taken the opportunity to enter or taken that brave step to enter. And we welcome you. Um, we have one more guest uh, that's going to join us before we leave you tonight. So let's see who that is. I'm so excited for this one. Did I now request? I don't know. Guys, me and technology. Yo. The grand finale will take place in August. Hey! Hello! So ladies and gentlemen. Is... <laughs> I'm trying to find it is a Miss South Africa 2016, Ntando yeah. Kunen. How are you, Verna? How are everybody? I am so good. I am so good. Congratulations and happy birthday for turning 30 uh, a couple of weeks they... back. Thank Welcome so to the much. club, honey. Welcome to the club. I hear this part of town is amazing. So I, I'm waiting for the amazing stuff to start happening. <laughs> it is. The only problem is that we cannot blame our 20s now anymore for making mistakes. <laughs> because we are grown adults. Starts. Sorry, what did you say? I'm saying the real adulting starts now. Absolutely. Being a proper Absolutely. <laughs> My love, I'm going to quickly jump into a question. Please tell me your favorite part um, and the most, um, the part that, always, that you always think back on about entering the South Africa. What was that for you? Mm. Oh my goodness. I remember at the Maslow Hotel um, when I walked in and I saw the other ladies that were in the line and the feeling of having being a step ahead uh, in terms of a dream coming true. So that for me was a start of such a beautiful journey because it was like, oh my goodness, I did it. I'm here to enter, you know, and I'm wearing my best friend's dress, you know. It was such a special moment. And, you know, I also remember just my family, how everyone was rallying behind me uh, through that time. So it was such an exciting time in my life. It was a step ahead. I mean, obviously you have that hope and wish to say, oh my goodness, I hope I win. Yeah, but when yeah. you start, just that hope, it's just that faith that you have on that day. And that's what I remember. Yeah. That's so beautiful um, that you say that because I think a lot of women feel this as well as the fact that you have this hope, but you also yeah. had that faith that you could do it, that, this, that, that, you, that you had everything inside of you to actually achieve yeah. this goal. Definitely. I think that's a step of faith. I mean, if you can't just have a dream and not take the steps towards it. So mm. it is the dream, but putting yourself out there and trying to fulfill it. I mean, even the preparation, that's also part of the faith that you have. You know, mm -hmm. it's part of the hope you have as well. Because obviously, when it comes to Miss South Africa, um, it's the preparation behind that one day, that one audition that you have. Um, so for some of us, I started preparing myself long, long, long time ago. So for me, it was a step of faith from a six-year-old to now being a 24-year-old when I won. And my goodness, it's 
just a step of faith. And that's what I want the girls to take from this whole journey is to say, you are here, you've entered, you've submitted your video. It's a step of faith. May yeah. that step of faith continue with that step of faith. Amen. Um, Oprah mm -hmm. said, um, Oprah said um, once, she said, luck is when preparation meets opportunity. And that's exactly Definitely. what you just said, is the fact that you prepare yourself as best as you possibly can with everything um, from a holistic perspective. But then when that opportunity yes. presents itself, that is when luck happens. But it's actually not luck. It's just you preparing and the opportunity pre presenting itself. And then you take yeah. it with both hands. And I think, Baron, another thing, obviously, I mean, you were also part of my preparation to Miss South Africa. I mean, even when I met you, it was part of the preparation as well is so much emotional capacity that you need to have. It's a lot yeah. of physical strength, emotional strength as well, because in the preparation, you are kind of, it's more like a, you're having an onion experience where layers yeah. of you keep coming out. And that's the kind of experience that I had as well. So my goodness, it's, it's, I'm excited yeah. for the girl. I really, really am excited for the girls. And I really, really hope that as they start this journey, you don't only think about the crown. Yes, it's important to, to, to think about it, but I want you to enjoy the experience, enjoy the woman that you're going to be with in the competition. Because at the end of the day, we all know there's only one winner, but there, you can make lasting friendships. You can make lasting business friendships as well. There's so much more that you can get out of the experience of being part of Miss South Africa. Yeah. I was going to ask you, what is your, uh, what is your uh, piece of advice for anybody entering right now? But it feels like you just said that. <laughs> I think that's the one. Um, t think about the crown, but focus on also getting to know the girls. Um, yeah. Also getting to know the organization, meeting people, putting yourself out there. If you already have a cause that you are championing, uh, put that in the forefront because you might not win the crown, but you might maybe get someone that's willing to help you in a venture that you have started. So don't only focus on just the crown, but focus on the journey of knowing the other, the other girls and everyone else in the organization. And throughout, I mean, I'm, I'm sure they're still going to have like networking sessions as well. Make sure okay. that you know what it is that you want from this experience. Go in with the goal in mind. Yes. And with that, I leave you. <laughs> Thank you so much, my love, for joining us. It was so good Thank to see you. you. I'm, I'm so sorry for the lighting. I'm out with my girls for dinner. I mean, it's still part of my birthday escapade. Celebration. So, still the <laughs> <laughs> Listen, Thank even with that so lighting, much. you look incredible. So, once a minute, they say, always a minute, say. Thank you, Thank you. Thank you so you. much. <laughs> love bye, you bye, too, love. Bye. Bye. Let me just see here. There we go. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for joining us tonight. I hope you guys enjoyed it just as much as I did. And I hope that you took away a lot of inspiration and a lot of advice from these women that have already been in your shoes. Remember that all of these women that you look up to tonight and the women that you take advice from were once in your um, they were in your shoes. They had the same fears, the same doubts. Um the same concerns, but also the same faith and the same hope um, and the same dream that you did. And the only thing that they did is they took that brave step boldly. And um, we are so excited to start this journey of Miss South Africa 2022 with you, uh, with you, with everybody that's entering. Um, and yeah, so get those entries in. If you know of a woman that you think should be Miss South Africa, encourage her because a lot of the times it is just that it takes that one person that just believes in you and tells you this is something that you need to do um, for, for them to take that step boldly. Thank you so much for, for joining us. Um, we appreciate it so much and we cannot wait to start this journey of Miss South Africa 2022 with you. I hope you guys have a lovely Lovely day. Enjoy the rest of your Freedom Day um, and we'll see you very soon. Bye bye.
USA app now to be able to enter Miss South Africa 2022. Entries open soon.